William Floyd was born on December 17, 1734 in Brookhaven, New York. Even before William Floyd was born, his family had migrated to America in 1654. And by the time William Floyd was born, they were established and wealthy. Floyd never received a formal education at a school. When William was only 18, his father had passed away, giving him sole responsibility of the farm and also taking care of the family. Six years after his father died, he married his first wife, Hannah Jones, who heavily supported William and his family on the farm. Together, William and Hannah had four children, three girls and one boy. Their names were Mary, Catherine, Hannah, and Nikolai. After several years of being alone, Floyd met Joanna, who he then married, and had two more children with. They were both girls and they were named Anna and Eliza. She says, Look, baby, I'm a rock star. Grabs my own guitar. Playing it upside down. Dancing around in front of our TV. Baby, I've been moving, makes me cry. Even warnings from the FBI. I think it's cause we had to say goodbye. As Floyd got a little older, he became a member of the Sulphur County Militia, which was during the early conflict with Great Britain. William Floyd obtained rank as a Major General in Suffolk County Militia. But due to William Floyd being a part of the Continental Congress, he didn't have much time to deal with the responsibilities of a Major General. Floyd was in both Continental Congresses in 1774 and 1776, but in 1776, he was chosen to represent New York. William Floyd was for the Declaration of Independence, to give the people the freedom that they deserved. William Floyd signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776 in Philadelphia. William Floyd was the first New York representative to sign the Declaration of Independence. On September 5th, 1735, William Floyd was nominated to a Western Regiment of Suffolk County at a meeting in Smithtown. After serving in both Continental Congresses, Floyd later became a general in the Revolutionary War. After Floyd officially retired from the Senate, he moved back into his old house and his old farm. 
Floyd died August 4th, 1821, and was buried in the Presbyterian Cemetery. William Floyd had relations to Gavin Malloy and to Abe Lincoln as a second removed cousin. William Floyd's true passion was farming, which after he retired from the Senate in 1803, he went back to take it up again. Let me tell you a little story about a man named William Floyd. Born on December 17, 1734 in Brookhaven, New York, William's true passion was farming, despite spending years as a politician. Though Floyd was born into a wealthy family, he never received a formal education. His father died during his teen years, leaving him substantial wealth and the farm to care for. As a passionate proponent for American independence, William was sent as a delegate to the Continental Congress, where he signed the Declaration of Independence. Floyd was re-elected to the Continental Congress and later served as a general during the Revolutionary War. During the war, his estate was captured and made a base for British troops. He was unable to return for seven years. William was later elected as a congressman, after which he returned to farming and enjoyed a number of years fulfilling his passion. Floyd died on August 4, 1821, at the age of 87. And there you go, a little story about a man named William Floyd.